Hi all, this is John Horner, Media Director and Client Relations Manager at Larsa. This short video outlines Larsa's SteelBridge Design Module. The SteelBridge Design Module has become a popular staple in the industry for quickly creating refined 3D FEA models in Larsa 4D, compliant for Ashto LRFD code check and load rating of I, box, and tub steel girder bridges. The module begins by asking the user to select from a series of tasks if they'll be generating a new steel girder bridge model, step A, defining loading data, step B, or performing code check and load rating per steps C and D. Any combination of these steps can be selected based on the user's need and access to any pre-existing bridge models. Creating a new structure begins by selecting if the structure is simply or continuously supported, and then defining the alignment of the bridge. The bridge alignment is defined with the help of Lars's unique bridge path editor, which includes separate fields to define horizontal and vertical curvature and bank rotation, which is conveniently entered using surveyor notation. As we can see, the station axis follows the curved geometry of the bridge alignment once the information is entered. Next, the abutments and piers are defined at the stations along the defined bridge path coordinate system. If there is skew, the module automatically computes the stations of the abutments and piers according to the skew values entered. The support conditions at each abutment and pier are entered accordingly with 6 degrees of translation and rotation, and with restraint conditions that can be either fully fixed or free. As mentioned, the steel bridge design module supports I, box, and tub girder bridges. For I girder bridges, there are two modeling options available. While both model the deck using plate elements, these options include one member for web and flanges that models girders using beam elements only, or a more detailed approach that applies multiple elements to constitute the cross-section of the girders to more accurately extract flange lateral bending moments, which is recommended when code check or load rating will be performed. After selecting the desired option, the geometry and section properties for girders are defined using the Edit Girder Spreadsheet. We can see here in the graphics view what it looks like when we choose to construct our model using one member for the flanges and web, as well as what it looks like when we choose to model girders using multiple elements for flanges as members and web as shell elements. Designed to simplify the modeling of complex alignments, all girder geometry can be quickly adjusted to create flared and bifurcated layouts that originate from peer locations. When modeling tub girder bridges, further options are available recognizing bottom flange longitudinal stiffeners. For cross frames, the information is again input in spreadsheets, this time in the Edit Cross Frames and Splice Point spreadsheet, which presents 11 types of common cross frames preloaded in the module. Top flange lateral bracing and substringers can also be defined in the steel bridge module. In this view, we can see the defined cross frames and top flange lateral bracings generated for this tub girder bridge. After completing entering this structural information, the steel bridge design module continues with step B to input comprehensive loading, which enables Larsa to create various loads automatically. For live load, the module performs influence surface-based analysis by marching a unit load on the road surface and generates vertical, centrifugal, and braking influence coefficients. When defining sidewalks, the roadway is offset inward to account for the non-structural sidewalk width and the corresponding sidewalk weight load case created for the input magnitude. As a core feature integrated with Larsa 4D Stage Construction Analysis Engine, the module also allows users to enter custom deck pouring sequences that can further include the movement of screed with options present to define the desired load, skew, and increment value of the screed. Once this information is entered, the steel bridge design module automatically generates construction stages following the typical ordering of a bridge's construction sequence. In Larsa stage construction analysis, we define the erection sequence using structure groups, load cases, construction stages and steps, and construction activities. As a design tool, 
Any desired modification can be made to the bridge model prior to performing code check or load rating. And load cases and auto-generated construction stages can also be revised as required. In Step C of the Steel Bridge Design Module, code check is conducted per AASHTO LRFD. At this stage, we first choose between 7th and 8th editions of the code, which updates the fatigue load combination factors accordingly. Once selected, we then enter the desired code check locations for our model along with the pertinent information desired for deck reinforcing, transverse and longitudinal stiffeners, tub data for girders, fatigue, shear studs, and deflection check. When performing coat check, LARS's SteelBridge design module automatically selects the appropriate result cases for its user, and any result case can be manually mapped to code-based load classes. The result cases are combined with certain factors based on the AASHTO LRFD code, and factors can be viewed and modified from the load factors input spreadsheet that we just opened here. Once we've completed entering this information into step C, the module independently performs design checks for each input station and provides corresponding output reports. These begin with the input report, which recaps all code check definitions entered by the user for the corresponding run. From here, we continue with the module's summary report, which is designed to organize all pertinent output in a single sheet to help users quickly understand the behavior of their structures. Continuing down the list, the performance ratios table provides all the computed demand to capacity ratios and their corresponding section in AASHTO that contains their equation. Here we can see the camber table for the structure's self-weight that reports tenth points along the girders for each span. To go one step further than the summary sheet, detailed results are reported for each section when that specific location is selected by the user. Once selected, pass-fail results according to the design code are given, in this case for strength, section proportioning, constructability, serviceability, and fatigue check. To give confidence to our users, the SteelBridge design module also provides verbose reports, which transparently display the line-by-line -line computations performed within the code check routine of the SteelBridge module, including the specific equation number reference to the design code. In Step D load rating, the SteelBridge module operates in a similar fashion that starts with selecting the desired addition of AASHTO. To save time, the module stores all inputs previously entered in Step C that are automatically available for use or modification by the user. When performing load rating, it's possible to conduct design, legal, and permit load rating for more than one vehicle at the same time. Once we hit Next, the module's load rating table is provided to define vehicles. HL93 design loading is available in the project to be used for inventory and operating ratings. Just as well, additional live load result cases can be created, for example, for legal and permit load ratings, by using the standard vehicles that are available in the vehicle database connected to our project. At this stage, the user can also modify combination factors and system and condition factors. Once we finish entering our loading, we can perform load rating and again confirm the inputs provided for our model using the input sheet. This time, if we select the summary report, we can see the minimum rating factors computed for all the code check locations cleanly organized into a single sheet. Just as before with code check, detailed reports are available for each station and vehicle entered. The summary report summarizes how the rating factors are computed by using the general LRFR rating equation, and the verbose report is available to drill down with fine detail the step-by-step -step computations used by the SteelBridge design module. If you found this video helpful and have interest to explore LARSA 4D and the SteelBridge design module, you can follow the link in the video description to request a temporary LARSA license. If you'd like to mention this video contacting us, we'll provide a resource folder of completed project files for reference. Thank you for your time and please feel welcome to contact us at info at 4 dcom with any questions.